Oh, we all missed our ISO P lock from last year on 2K20 that could shoot, finish, play make, and play defense. Can literally do it all. If I told you it made a return to 2K21 current gen and might even be better than 2K20. You guys see on 2K21 that's a perimeter lock that has pro dribble moves and can shoot this deep. Not a single person has this build right here. And if you guys stay tuned out the entire video, I'll be showing you guys how to make it. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mano, and I know y'all missed me, you feel me? I missed the freak out of y'all boys, but I do have a special video for today. You guys probably clicked on this video. You probably think it was cap. Probably think it was clickbait. No, I really have a perimeter lockdown that could dribble, do it all, or 2K21 courage, and this build is better than my 2K20 perimeter lockdown. Before I do continue, please let me give a big shout out to my boy So Far Gone for letting me hop on his account. This video would not be possible without him. The Elite 3 Perimeter Lockdown. This is his Perimeter Lockdown build. I did not create this build myself. This is his build, but I will remake this build at the end of the video if you guys stay tuned throughout the entire video. Oh my gosh, you guys see this bad count? 4, 17, 11, 20. My 2K20 Perimeter Lockdown only got 1, 16, 7, 20. So imagine all this. Look at this stats. 99 speed, 99 still. 81 three-pointer. Y'all see what I do with a 65 three-pointer. Imagine 81 with shooting badges. Come on now. This build is goaded, bro. Didn't already know we were on that road to 8K. So you guys better smash that subscribe button and like button. Let's get this video to 200 likes. All right, let's look at this. First play in the game. Look, I already get the inbound still. The max swing span is really glitchy. Look, bang. Come on now. Big, bro. They, bro, just because you see perimeter lockdown, they, uh, they expect all perimeter lockdowns to be 50. Nah, bro. I'm not 50. Y'all see what I do with a 65 three-pointer. Don't give me no 81 three-pointer. Don't get me wrong, I do love my post playmaker, but I ain't gonna lie. This is my favorite build on 2K21 Current Gen. But look at the dots, bro. Does get a full bar, but it's straight. Because we finna get this ball right back. Look at this. This man breaks, you feel me? I get the board. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. This will be horsing too, bro. But look at this, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to get baited right here, but it's okay. Because we all get baited here and there, you feel me? Look, I pass out, but look. I'm finna go back to the top of the key. That's bang. Come on now, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This Dante Exum jump shot is chicken. And if you guys were wondering what's the jump shot I'm using, I already dropped the video. It's the video that has jump shot for low rated three balls. It is that jump shot I'm using. The same jumper I used on my post playmaker, you feel me? It's literally chicken, so make sure y'all watch that video too. But look at the blow bots. I got Showtime Go for my teammate too. That is a big help. He gets takeover so much faster too than compared to that like Showtime Bronze or no Showtime at all. Other perks of this build, you do get to run floor gen too. So like, say you're playing with like a stretch or something, you can help him out and run that floor gen go to set your point guard. But look at me combo up. Oh my God, come here, bro. Where are you going? Setty slide of heck, bro. Like, do y'all see what I'm doing? Didn't lose the ball, but you feel me? We got it right back because I got that Hall of Fame defense. Hall of Fame defense is so OP compared to that goal. I'm so used to having like seven defensive badges because I'm used to playing defense on my play shot. 7 compared to 20 is a big difference. It's so easy to play defense on this build, too. Like, bro, I'm comboing up, too. Like, this build is so fun. Look at... Bang! Come on now. Turn me up. This build is literally so hard to guard. You don't know how to guard it. These dudes are confused. Because if you play up, I'm going to take my easy, too. Get that Showtime goal for my teammate. Help him get takeover. If you sit back, I'm going to pop that three with this Dante Exum jump shot. It's literally straight chicken. Just like 2K20's perimeter lockdown, it does everything. You don't know how to guard it. It's literally unguardable. It's the best build in the game. The defense is amazing, too, at that. Like, bro, this build is so fire. You guys see, we gave up the ball back, but you, I got the ball right back because this Hall of Fame defense is literally broken. Like, I'm now I'm comboing up again just like I'm a play shot. It's literally insane. The build could do everything. Look, finishing traffic, green the layup. Come on now. Before we do get to the next gameplay, though, look at this, bro. If you run it in May 2021, bro, it's about to be June, bro. You're still running from games in June, bro. I really had to do the squad glitch. Look, I literally had to do the squad glitch just to get the game. This is sad, bro. If you're tired of people that run from you, smash that like button. To, let's see how many people hate people that run from people in 2K21 current. Because, bro, I hate that too. Lido either, bro. In the comments right now, drop y'all guys' gamer tags. If you guys got Xbox, drop them gamer tags, yo builds too, bro. Because I be needing people to run with for videos. This random dude, I only had to pick up a random dude in my park because I had no one on to play with, bro. This is sad. I ain't gonna lie, we was eating up though. You feel me? We went 11 and 1. This dude is so broke. He could literally play big man and guard. That's what I was really carrying this, man. I ain't gonna lie, you feel me? So if y'all try to get carried, drop y'all builds in the builds and gamer tags in the comments right now. The dreams that that you um you had you 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 could you 
over here stuttering and stuff. But let's get straight into the gameplay. Let's finish talking about this gameplay. But this build is literally so broken. Look. Bam, my crit. This dude doesn't even know how to guard me, bro. Look at that Showtime go over my teammate, too, bro. Like, this man is really lost. He's way back in the three point line when I'm taking a driving duck already. Like, bro, come on, you know, you're on the wrong side of the court, my boy. Goliath, this is getting real sad, too. This is how you know this build broken. They literally had to try to switch to guard me, bro. Still couldn't guard me. Look at the Pro 2 spam, you feel me? Another Showtime go because she's playing up. You got to respect my jump shot at the end of the day. If you respect my jump shot, I'm going to take my twos, you feel me? If you sit back, I'm going to pop my threes. This build can do it all, bro. They go and try to switch up their defense scheme again. Put this dude back on me. I don't know why you putting this dude back over you, feel me? This is free cook-up sessions. Look, I got the easy two, but I'm shooting a three-pointer. Let me show these boys I can shoot. All oh, them dudes was mad in their party. Whatever party they, they was in, I know they was mad. They threw two different defenders at me. You still can't guard me. They're like, bro, this was a perimeter lockdown. How can you shoot and dribble like this? I'm a different breed, you feel me? Look, showtimes again. Like, they got to respect my jump shot. People were respecting my jump shot. So you guys already have easy showtime goal for your guys' teammates, like I said earlier. So I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. If you can't shoot an 81 three-pointer still, bro, in this game, I don't know what's wrong with you. Because shooting Ben got patched, bro. It's so easy to shoot now in this game. It's really just like 2K20 in my eyes. The shooting is so much easier. And I don't know what patch came out or something. But Mike Wayne, whatever you did, I appreciate you, my boy. Because that blow really three balls be hidden different now. I know some of you guys are looking at the build and probably be like, bro, you don't even get Hall of Fame playmaking. That build's not even that nice. You can't even ISO like that. But you guys are seeing what I'm doing, bro. You guys only need quick first step gold and handles for days gold and unpluckable bronze. That's literally what I'm running right now. That's all you guys really need, to be honest. The extra playmaking badges is not really necessary needed. But look how deep I'm shooting from with the 81 three-footer. Boy, shooting got patched. I'm telling you guys. I don't know. They must have did a little secret patch or sub, but shooting is definitely back, bro. So just another heads up, in my opinion, yes, this is a twos build in my eyes. This is an ISO twos build. I wouldn't really recommend running this build on a threes court ISOing with it. You guys can though, you feel me? But it's gonna be a little more difficult. That's why I think twos is a little more easier. I am a twos player and now. I like twos more than threes in my eyes. It's just more fun for me. Like I said earlier, literally just like 2K20, like everyone on their perimeter lockdown literally ran in on a twos court. Like this is literally just another twos build again. Like. I really love twos builds, bro. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. That aggressive behind the back was a pop. Where was that bear going? Another Showtime goal for my team. I really be helping this random out, bro, with the Showtime goals. Be showing you guys how to make this build right after this gameplay. Because I know a lot of you guys have been asking, like, bro, man, we need more than one gameplay. So, here, I'm showing you guys two different gameplays. A lot of things, since you guys think it might be catfish, you feel me? But we don't do the catfish stuff. But I did shoot a white, you feel me? You're not finna shoot a green every single play. But he does kick it back out to me in the corner. That is green. The moment you guys been waiting for how to make the ISO perimeter lockdown on 2K21 current gen. But you guys do go point guard, hand choice, ball handles up to you guys. You guys are gonna go green red not yellow red i know some people went yellow red last year but i always did green red i like green red my eyes though it's better in my opinion at the end of the day it's my opinion of course it's pure speed pie chart you guys want the most speed possible speed is the best thing in the game this year you guys always want the most speed if it's a center point guard any position you guys are playing most speed always for the 20th defensive batch, this is your choice how to pick it, make it. I went interior defense over um, having a block rating because I am playing the center on my perimeter lockdown a lot of the time. I'll be playing with a play shot usually, so I'm going to need that interior defense. You guys can go block if you guys want to go block, but I'm going interior defense because I'm playing center on this build usually on the two score. I think I can get away with it. If you play good defense, you guys already get the contest. But the good thing about this build also is the finishing. You get four finishing badges. So you guys get that show type gold and plus that little bronze contact finisher. It really helps you guys' teammate. And just a heads up right now, you guys. You guys only need like around 17 shooting badges to shoot consistent again this year. It's not hard. I don't know what patch 2K made, but they made a patch or something. You don't need a lot of shooting badges no more to shoot consistent. Any choice doesn't really make a difference. I would go build though. Just to, like make your player look a little bit stronger. I'm going to show you guys though right here though. You guys are want to go 6-3. Do not go 6-4. If you guys go 6-4, you guys' build will be called a two-way mid-range shooter if you guys want that perimeter lockdown name go 6-3 but if you guys don't care you feel me go 6-4 6-4 is probably a better option but i'm picking slash and takeover you feel me i want them contact dunks you feel me but look at that perimeter lockdown but if you guys have made it this far in the video please leave a like comment subscribe we're gone